Okay. So this is one of my testing stations. Um, I took out the amp, but um, basically with this uh, power supply or um, I forgot the exact name of it. It's from a radio shack. Yeah, so you get the power from this, and then um, I hooked up a old school head unit, certain cables for the amp, and um, basically. The speaker output from the uh, stereo is uh, soldered into this <coughs> um, leads, and then um, this one is supposed to go to the amp. So basically, you can just come here, hook up your speakers whatever soap you want and you know test it play with it whatever we're trying to do this other side old school JVC this is where the power supply is yep this is my other setup School rock for one sixty point two and uh, this amp is really nice. See, I got it for like thirty dollars or something. Well, yeah, so I mostly use this amp to test uh, actual speakers. Like, you know, your well, actual, uh, you can do, you know, speakers with like voice and mid range and actual uh, bass also. Which is a pretty neat little amp. Pushes this set pretty good, <coughs> but anyway, um, this is the amp I use for uh, subwoofers. Even though, again, just flip the uh, crossover, and you can do full range or just you know subs. Got it all. Distribution blocks. I don't currently have this one plugged. But we're gonna fuse the other end plus here. I don't have uh, those kind of fuses right now, so I can I just rig the to work right now. Here's the back of this power supply. Four gauge in the terminals. <coughs> um, this was pretty nice power supply. I think I got it for what, 40 bucks? Yeah, I use it a lot. And this is gonna. When that is plugged, the top one is basically a really nice stereo or radio. It grabs like 
stations from a city a couple hours away, oh, like six hours away. Anyway, really good st stereo. This is my old school Optimus Cross uh, Equalizer. I'm sure, I thought it was like 16 bands. Okay. So yeah, those are my power supplies. Or testing stations, I guess. 